In the news this week, GCC day ahead market pilot in Dubai, a 1 billion US dollar contract to Borj Batman International, Mtex to establish a $500 million production plant in the UAE, Six Cents Hotel, Resorts and Spas to launch in the UAE, City Neon expands in Qatar, a $398 million award to Spetco International Petroleum Company in Kuwait, and some of the new projects added to the Ventures Onsite platform in December. Hi there, my name is Phil Higgins and this is the Ventures Onsite News update for the fourth and final week of December 2021. Well, the Gulf Cooperation Council Interconnection Authority launched the GCC Day Ahead Market Pilot Project in Dubai. This ambitious project consists in the creation of an electronic platform for the pricing of electricity in the GCC countries as part of the first phase of the energy pricing project in the region. The GCC pilot project is the first of its kind as it represents a fundamental cornerstone for managing the energy exchange platform launched by the Electricity Interconnection Authority in 2018, an essential contribution for the development of the spot market for electricity trading. This first phase aims at establishing electricity prices at a regional level and enhancing the expertise and skills on electricity trading topics. Bukidia International Company announced the award of a 1 billion US dollar contract to build Six Flags Gidea to Burj Bateman International, a subsidiary of Burj Construction and Saudi Al Mabani General Contractors in joint venture between the two construction companies. The agreement was signed during a ceremony attended by officials from both companies at the Gidea Experience Center and was followed by a groundbreaking inauguration to simultaneously mark the official start of the construction. Well, Amtex, the Japan-based pioneer in innovative nanotechnology and the inventor of the supermaterial magic fiber, has signed a 500 million US dollar deal with UAE-based BNP Group for setting up an advanced nanofiber production plant in Jebel Ali in Dubai. The state-of-the-art plant will be operational by late 2022. Magic Fiber is a special nanotechnology and is safe for medical use as the product does not contain any harmful substances and also capable of absorbing all kinds of oil from oil services in both indoor and outdoor conditions. Well, Select Group and its joint venture partner Emirates Strategic Investments Company signed a management agreement with Six Senses Hotel, Resorts and Spas to develop the ultra luxury operator's first branded residence and hotel in the UAE. Construction is set to commence in January 2022 with a targeted completion date of Q4 2024. Six Senses Residence, The Palm, will include 121 penthouses, 32 sky villas and nine signature beachfront villas. City Neon Holdings, a global experience entertainment company, has signed a deal with Qatar Free Zone Authority to establish a new facility in the country. City Neon's new 15,000 square metre facility will be constructed in the Raspofontes Free Zone, featuring an international experience and entertainment technology centre, an R&D innovations lab, developing animatronics and robotics and a production workshop. Well, Kuwait oil company KOC awarded Jurassic Production Facilities 4 for testing, processing and handling of wet and sour hydrocarbon world fluids for the Jurassic Fields to Septco International Petroleum Company. The value of the contract is 398 million US dollars. KOC issued the tender during September 2021. JPF is an onshore surface production facility and will be implemented on a build-own-operate basis with the option for KOC to buy back the facility. Well, as per the Ventures on-site construction projects tracker, some of the new projects added to the portal in December 2021 include 
Alunda Mixed Use Development in Riyadh, Plastic Waste Processing Plant in Dubai, Al Mashrek Hotel in Riyadh, Al Shramek Shopping Center in Abu Dhabi, eight boutique warehouses in Ras Abu Fontes Free Zone in Qatar, and the infrastructure works for East Citra Housing Project in Bahrain, just to name a few. Well, that's it for this week. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to our channel so we can keep you up to date with the most recent construction news for the region and all future developments here at Ventures On Site. Well, we hope this news update, our last for 2021, has helped you stay informed so you stay competitive. We look forward to catching you again in 2022. Take care.